Hey everybody, Mikey Cat Outdoors here. So what are we doing today? Well, it's a little bit of a rain drizzle, sleet, snow mix coming down. About 37 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is a good test. Let's do a little walk and test out this uh, Farpoint Alpha Polar Tech Alpha hoodie. And uh, got a Patagucci uh, <laughs> Houdini little uh, wind jacket here so just try this layering system this is recommended by a couple of people uh, do ultralight through hike and whatnot this is supposed to have a lot of good airflow through it as an active layer and then the uh, wind jacket it's really not that great for the rain but combine it with an umbrella probably be fine but uh, they said you know when you get the winds coming try that see how it works so so far not too bad um, whenever you're active you're gonna sweat you're gonna heat up so you don't want to be too warm because then you sweat and your body's trying to warm up that sweat and then you get cold because you're burning all your energy trying to warm up that sweat instead of your core so well we'll see how this works i just figure a short little jaunt it's a good test run so yeah it's tightened down my hood as it kept flapping around it's got a little cinch pole in the back and uh that'll keep it from flopping off but overall not too bad uh don't like having one exposed hand right now because i'm trying to operate the camera uh, yeah, I'm not sweating yet or anything. I'm not really cold. When I first started, there was this little chill. Uh, but once I'm moving, I'm doing good. So, I've been hiking this for a little bit. Uh, not too bad. And once I got the hood all cinched down, it was great. Uh, I just have a t-shirt on underneath my hoodie. So my arms got a slight bit of cold to them, but if you combine this with just a regular light uh, polyester or merino wool base layer long sleeve, that'd be golden. Uh, same way with my legs. If I put on a base layer, my legs would be fine. But this combination on the top, I don't really have any sweat. Normally I sweat like a stuck pig. So I'd say this works fairly well. The hoodie by itself, you can wear that in the summer months or shoulder months when it's warmer out. And you'll get a nice breeze blowing through it. Uh, you know, so you can wear this thing year-round, but it's really, really light. The only downfall is it's a really delicate fabric. So you want to keep it away from Velcro, anything it can snag on, because it'll just like tear apart. Probably hand wash it really won't hold any moisture which is good but the way it's kind of weaved together it's uh, pretty good at holding heat in all those little air pockets and that's the beauty of it and this thing's only a few ounces so it's not that bad so the question is probably why would you choose this over another system flexibility when you've got the wind layer, you can use that when you're biking, when you're camping, hiking, whatever, keep the wind down. And the insulative layer of the Polar Tech Alpha, you don't have to worry. Uh, if you're wearing that in warmer weather, you can wear it by itself. But if you're getting a colder weather or a real windy situation, you layer these two up, you got a nice system that works well. Uh, puffy jacket might keep you a little warmer, but you're going to be more prone to sweat with a puffy layer. I've done that many a times. Uh, if I were to wear this with a backpack, I don't know. I'd be curious to see what my back would be like if it's still be sweaty like it normally is. But you can mix this with something like a ventilated uh, backpack add-on suspension. There's different types out there. Ones that arc. There's also the clues ones that you just tack on 
and it gives you a airspace gap between your pack and the pack. And if you're packing real light stuff, just like a day pack, it'll work great. Um, long 30, 40 pound <laughs> through hike thing, no. <laughs> I don't know how well that would work. Um, probably go to like a Z-Pex, uh, Arcol or something like that at that point. But, yeah. Uh, Price-wise, Houdini, I think I got this on sale, maybe 65 bucks or something at the time. They're normally like 100 And uh, Farpoint hoodie, similar to like the Senshi Design ones. They're all in that kind of $85 range. So that's kind of what you're looking at. Compare that to 150 200 bucks for some of the pricier brand uh, puffies. Yeah, so potato potato. So you can kind of see that, about 37.2 degrees outside. <laughs> yeah, a little chilly. So there you can kind of see I draped the uh, Houdini jacket from Patagonia there off. Um, I'm trying to remember. Eh, that one I don't think does have zips. I guess I'm thinking of my Visp. <laughs> so this one is just basically a sil nylon. Um, it's very lightweight, very packable, uh, very, very small, but it's got a little bit of DWR on it, uh, it kind of repels a little bit of the rain, but that is not a real, real rain jacket, so you will wet through on that. Um, so there too, if you're going to use that in the rain, probably want an umbrella with you, uh, just keep the rain off of you as preventative. And then of course, the hoodie. Woohoo! So you can kind of see the texture of this a little bit. Uh, it's, a, it's a different type of material. I mean, it's, it's not really a waffle weave. It's its own whatever the heck you want to describe it. I don't know. It's like Fozzie Bear or something from the Muppets. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, this tiny little draw cord there for the hood. And uh, no kangaroo pockets or anything it's just a basic no frills hoodie and like I say the wind will just blow right through this thing you can see right through it pretty easily there um, that's how thin it is in terms of porosity but it has enough air pockets that it just will keep that layer of warmth near you as long as there's no wind but there is why you use the uh, windbreaker uh, you know, if you got a windy condition, you just put that on, and that'll hold all that heat next to you. So, did my walk. It was probably, I don't know, about seven blocks or something, little loop that I did. And, uh, not too bad. I mean, 37 degrees, and I felt warm. The only part of me that got cold was just my exposed hand when I was using the camera. Just be able to touch, touch screen and stuff with it. Um, and my legs a little bit because I didn't have any base layers underneath that. But, uh, all in all... I'd give it a good thumbs up. Um, I don't know if I'd use this down to 5 degrees, but I think if you're down, say, to 20 degrees or so, you'd probably be all right with this. You get below 20, yeah, you probably want to supplement. Um, but it's kind of neat. So Garage Grown Gear has these. Uh, they got the Farpoint Alphas. They got the Senshi Design in uh, Polar Tech Alpha. I think this is the 90-gram Per square meter uh, weight. They also have a 60 and a 120 out there uh, from different vendors. And so this is kind of the medium weight. Some people like the really light 60 weight. This was what was available. So I just grabbed this, the 90. And uh, yeah. So anywho, if you like what you've seen, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, get notified of new content when it's available. I'll catch you guys again in the outdoors. As always, thanks for watching.